Hello channel members, today's video comes from two different commenters. The first one is Eli E, who had a tip for the tutorial section, and th this is going to be very important to utilize, but here in the mountainous area, right here in this little tip, there is actually a hidden chest, which when you pop it open will give you anywhere from like two to 300 silver, so let's just pop it open real quick, and there we go, I got 236 silver, and the second tip which I'm going to have to show you much later, involves buying thousands of mules and being able to move with them. It's insane. Now, it's going to take me quite a while to farm enough silver because, um, you know, mules cost 3 silver, so 999 mules times 3 is going to cost me about 3,000 silver, and I'm going to want, like, at least 4,000 or more mules, okay? I'm going to be grinding for quite a while, so I'll be right back. By the way, this chest respawns every three minutes. So if you want to just sit here and wait three minutes, kill the chest, sit here three minutes, kill the chest, that's a pretty efficient way to do this. So what I do is I'll pop the chest, and then for the next three minutes, I will just kill mobs nearby. This is getting me about 500 silver every three minutes. Now, uh, that means it takes uh, six times three, or... Um, 18 minutes for 1,000 mules, and if 1,000 mules have a buy order of 1,500 to 3,000, that's a lot of money. That is an insane amount of money. <laughs> it's, it's like a, a little bit too much, actually. This is about 250 to 500,000 silver every three minutes, though it will take us time to very slowly transport this back to town. It's insane once we get there. Like, I'm, I think I can farm enough donkeys to sustain every single buy order in the entire server <laughs> in every town, even maybe Carleon if I want to transport it there. Uh, it's, it's that nuts. Okay, so I have farmed a little under two hours. <laughs> I've amassed about 15,700 something gold, or I'm sorry, silver. Now we're going to buy all mules, <laughs> and uh, this is going to take a little bit of time. Can I do... Uh, surely there's a faster way to do this than one at a time. Um, <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so the fastest way is just to put one in your loadout, which uh, you click your portrait and then you click loadout, and there you go. And so we can kind of do it like this now, one at a time, and this will... Well, this will take a little while. Can I maybe do it like this? By uh, ten at a time? I don't think that's working, no. Uh, let's, well, maybe. I don't know, let's see. Oh, you cannot carry more weight. What? Yes, I can. Totally carry more weight. <laughs> mm, how odd. Oh, I have to do it like that. But it won't let me do take all. Oh, man. This is going to require a lot of clicking. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, let me do 10 at a time on the mules. Come on, bro. No, it's only going to let me do one at a time. This is going to be a lot of clicking. I don't own a phone, so I don't know if this is faster on the phone or not, but this is going to require an insane amount of clicking. Oh man, I don't know if it's worth it anymore to do this much clicking. But each click is basically 1,500 to, you know, like 3,000 if I do quick cells. If I do manual cells, they're worth 5,700 each, which is insane. But it's going to take a lot of clicking to get 5,000 of these. I like, <laughs> I've been at this a little while now. And um, I'm only at 248 in the inventory and 127 here uh, on the tab. Because I, remember, I have to click this and then click take, yes, take, yes, take, yes, take. It's so much clicking. Once you've got enough mules that you can stand clicking, which for me is 2,500. I wanted to go for 5,000, but oh man, is this tedious. What you need is a bow, and you also want the leather shoes for the refreshing sprint. You're going to use the E spell, and you see I can't move at all. I can't if, Even if I mount up, I can't move. You're going to use the E spell and just cast it twice, and that's going to let you do like a little roll. And then use your boots, and that's going to reduce the cooldown. And you're going to do this all the way to the main capital city. Uh, or maybe just the step city, but um, it this is going to take quite some time to get to town. But you can see here that I have 14.3 million silver worth of mules. Uh, so that's pretty nice, and I've only been playing about four and a half hours in total. So that's, uh, you know, that's like 2.6 million silver per hour, I think.
just to get out of Tutorial Island took 20 minutes of using our E spell. Yikes, that's a long time. It took nearly 50 minutes, almost an entire hour, to get to Bridgewatch's Travel Planner. So this is how long 2,500 mules took. 5 hours, 56 minutes. We'll just say that it's basically 6 hours. Uh, and let's do the math and see if it's worth it or not. Okay, 14.3 million. 14.3 divided by 6 hours is 2.38 million per hour. Still not bad. Still not bad. <laughs> uh, it's actually, uh, yeah, especially if you have, like, nothing on a new server. If you're a new player, it's <clears throat> totally viable. Now, I don't know how you're going to be able to sell all these unless you just went to Bridgewatch's market and sold them, which there's not 2,500 buy orders, obviously. So, uh, And then you won't really have the capital to sell them raw. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm putting them in a storage chest and letting my main handle them with a mammoth. A mammoth can only carry about 450 mules at one time, which uh, sounds like a lot, but it's it's not really. All right, we're almost at the chest. You got to see, like, it's so painful having to inch around like this. There we go. We made it. And then we can go to storage here and then put them in there. And we're all set. You can see this thing can hold a million kilograms. And just these mules are uh, over 100,000 kilograms. It's insanity. Now we're free to move again for the first time in several hours. We can repair our gear and then strip it, put it, put the last mule in the in the chest and then this character can be used later on for focus crafting pretty awesome stuff so let's uh let's switch to characters now and see how much uh, we can get just from bridge watch we might have to go to other towns but there we go no i don't want that in there and it's join the other mules there we go 2501 mules good stuff Look at this, one stack of mules puts a tier 8.4 satchel and carry weight 8.4 boots with a masterpiece mammoth overweight by 55%. I'm still able to move, but it's really slow, which is, it's rare to see a mammoth overweight. It's, it takes a lot to make a mammoth overweight. And here is the results of just one stack. If we sell order it, it's worth about 5 million. Uh, now, if I were to sell or, or sell order at, at uh, the buy order price, three five two eight, it's only three point two million. So, if I wanted to make some fast profits, I lose about one point eight million. However, the setup fee for sell ordering is about um, you know it's what four hundred k five hundred k. So it's not that much of a loss really. Uh, but I'm just gonna. Looking at the daily sales values, we get anywhere from 500 to 1,500, uh, you know, per day. So I'm I'm comfortable just setting a big stack of them on the market. Though at the same time, you know, there's going to be a lot of people undercutting me, so I don't know. Well, I think for now I'm just going to keep them because um, if I do any kind of like red zone, black zone stuff, I tend to use a mule. Uh, they are pretty handy for that. Also, you can get way more from these if you transport them to care leone and sell them there so that's another flip that i could do but anyway guys that's all i've got i appreciate you watching and thanks for the continued support um hopefully you'll stay a channel member so i can share more cool videos like this anyway see you guys later take care